to send a message with that slam, I think. Houdini passes to Insane. Doesn't go for him. The Pistons go the other way with it. Steps back. Outside, Joseph. Kicks it to Olenek. Now here's Diallo. Down to five on the shot clock. Play T that time for Vucevic. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Okay, time now for an injury report. Hi guys, the head athletic trainer for Detroit gave us some status update. The word is that it is a bruised heel. And he'll have to be careful being on his feet in the near future. This is never the way you want to lead off. But they have no choice. They still have to play the games. Kevin, back to you. David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sideline. Wow, that is really tough news. And it's going to have a big effect on the rest of the guys. Always so hard to have a teammate go down like that. Now here's Bain. No good from outside. I hate to say it. He's dragging him down. Not a single bucket. This game. Here's Gusevichus. He's covered by Joseph. Rebounded by the Pistons. The pass to Bay. Makes that one after missing his first six shot attempts. One for seven and hungry for more. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's Gusevichus. He's got six. Here's Levine. Second shot opportunity. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And how about the hustle from Vucevic there on the glass, securing that precious second chance opportunity for the team. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Bulls? They deserve a lot of credit for the defense they've played in the paint here early. Contesting shots, blocking shots, just making life One difficult shot. on the opposing shooters in general. And the intensity is carried over into their ability to get out in passing lanes and really be disruptive in terms of their opponent's offense. Free throw drops for Vucevic. You know, Chris, I remember back in the day and at one point in the Western Conference, they had you, they had Tim Duncan, they had Kevin Garnett, all Hall of Famers, all so great to watch. Yeah, we had some battles. Can't forget about guys like this game. We had to play two ways to four, 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 five. So David Robinson, Carl Malone, uh, Shaq. <laughs> yeah, that was all in a week's work. Here's insanity. 15 points in the game. Pass to Houdini. Levine deciding where to go with it over Joseph. Here's Vucevic. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And one of the most underrated bigs in the NBA. Vucevic quietly dominates on a consistent basis. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive skills. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, Shoot nothing two. is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. Free throw drops for Vucevic. And the Pistons making a change here. Bagley's checked in. So he gets them both. Didn't have a free throw in the first quarter, but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now. He has a tougher attitude. Diallo kicks to Stewart. Stewart, a screen for Joseph to the middle. Pass to Diallo. Stewart with the screen on white. Diallo, no good. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. 
Buck up two there. Levine's Levine. got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, yeah. Off the pass, Levine is more or less automatic. He just pushed the shot.